9 a.m. on a Saturday morning in Port Isabel, packing up for our second dive with RGV Scuba. To complete the scuba diving certification. First stop is gas station because this trip is gonna be a long one. Once we got a full tank, it's time to head out into the wide open waters. It's about an hour boat ride, 20 miles into the Gulf, and the views out here are like no other. The destination, the Jack Up Rigs. We're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> the South Padre Island Jack Up Rigs were placed in this location around 2014. Originally, there are over a dozen rigs, but one by one, they are being dismantled. Now, they're used to tie down boats for scuba classes. And do different lines on the boat. It's more convenient to do it from the structure. Dive, you need to go a little bit below 60, but we're gonna see what the visibility looks like because out here, we find something called the nephiloid layer. And the moment has come, we get suited with all of our gear and jump in. Once in the water, we swam closer to the rigs to give ourselves a pinpoint of where we are in the ocean. And then time to see the underwater world. The aquarium is the name they've given this place and are home to a wide variety of colorful reef fish and native gulf species. This structure extends from all the way to the seafloor to above the surface which is about 120 feet deep although we stayed about 60 feet. We spent our entire dive here, and I can say this is a whole side of the valley I've never seen before. We eventually do the safety training, the same ones we did at the pool, but just in a real world scenario, in order to get the certification. Some of the fish we see on the rigs are lionfish, lots of barracuda, flying fish, and some we couldn't even identify and there are also a variety of soft coral and sponge. Once our tanks run out of oxygen, that means our time is up. We climb aboard, untie the boat, and head back to the mainland. And once the second dive is in the books, I am now officially a certified scuba diver.